The IPCC is the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. It's uh, under the United Nations. It's a coming together of the nations of the world to try and develop a consensus view on what the science is showing about climate change. And with, with respect to the climate uh, aspect of it, there are basically six key points that, that they have arrived at. First of all is that human activities are changing the composition of the atmosphere. We have very good records over the past thousands of years, now actually back hundreds of thousands of years of how the atmosphere, what its composition is, and, and we have very good records of how it's changing now. Humans are dramatically changing. Second point is that changing the atmospheric composition is going to warm the planet. And in the, in the way we are changing it, by adding carbon dioxide to the atmosphere, that's like adding sort of an extra blanket on. It's a, they, they call it the greenhouse effect. It, 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 it sort of creates a warming influence for the planet. There's a natural greenhouse effect because of the gases that are in the atmosphere. We're making it stronger. The third one is we've been making these changes in atmospheric composition for roughly 150 years. And we're starting to see the consequences of that. We are seeing warming. We're seeing the surface temperature of the earth is getting warmer. The temperature of the oceans are going up. Glaciers are melting. Uh, species are starting to move forward to get, uh, take advantage of the, of the temperature changes. And so you're seeing you know, robins in Alaska. The Inuits are seeing robins or something. They didn't have a word in their language for it. So there's very unusual things happening. Uh, fourth point is if we continue to do what we're doing about burning coal oil and natural gas into the future, and it's hard to change our energy system, so there's a lot of inertia in that, we're going to change the atmospheric composition a lot more and we're going to cause very dramatic changes in the climate. We're going to have changed the climate over a few hundred years uh, as much as it has taken the natural system to change it back many tens of millions of years. We're going to go back to some very warm conditions when the Earth was quite different. Um, fifth is, if you change the climate this much, you're going to see some effects. There's going to be major changes in, in what, what happens. I mean, it looks like we're starting to melt some of the, or melting some of the mountain glaciers. Maybe we'll start melting some of the ice sheets, like the Greenland ice sheet. There's a lot of fresh water up on that land. If you add that water to the ocean, it's going to go back up and you're going to get sea level rise. And that allows storm surges to come in further and endangers coastal lands. You're going to warm the climate so much that for the U.S., it's a lot like the climate of the northern tier of states, Minnesota and Maine and everything, becoming like the tier, the central, the climate of the central tier of states. And the central tier becoming like the southern tier. So people are going to exist, but the plants, the landscape, things are going to change dramatically. And the, the sixth finding that they've shown is if you want to slow this down, and it's going to take many decades to slow it down and take, take action because we've been doing it for so long, we're going to have to take some rather dramatic action. It's not just small action. We have to get on another path, and that's a path of not using coal, oil, and natural gas so much for, for energy. We have to get onto a path of using renewables or perhaps using nuclear or deriving it from ocean currents or biomass or other kinds of means of getting energy. This doesn't mean we're going to have less services in our society. I mean, you do things with energy in different ways. We just have to get our energy in different ways. And so it's a problem of the source of energy um, I mean, we certainly want to use the energy we have more efficiently, but it's a, a, an issue of changing the source of energy. And so what the IPCC has looked at are the options for doing that. And they've pointed out there are quite a number of options to really get started. And once you get started, then you hope that ingenuity and new ideas along the way can transform us as far as we have to go in getting off onto this alternative energy path. Well, this, the administration in 2002, the president came out and basically said that the policy of the United States was going to be for 10 years to try and improve the, the uh, efficiency of our economy and that they would look at this again in 10 years. And so we had this little uh, flurry um, a, a few weeks ago where the administra an administration report came out saying there was a new scientific finding that talked about 
humans being the major cause of climate change. And there are new papers coming out talking about how climate change is likely to lead to additional heat waves. Uh, basically, what the administration has been doing is saying, oh, well, they're not important. They don't affect policy because they have said they're not going to change their policy for 10 years. Well, that's like a little bit going to the doctor and the doctor says you've got something you should be worried about and thinking about and you basically leave and say, well, I'm not going back to the doctor for 10 years no matter what happens. Um, the administration really needs to be paying attention to what is happening in the scientific community, understanding how important this is and getting started rather than sort of putting off decisions for very long times.